So you might be trying to figure out how you can get verified on Snapchat. Now doing this is actually kind of easy, but also not that easy at all. You have to basically be like a verified creator in a way. So if we make our way over to our verify your public profile option within Snapchat, you should be able to come into this page and I'll go ahead and break down exactly what this page says. So basically it tells us that in order for us to verify our profile page, our specific page has to be authentic. So it says our you know, profile must represent a real registered business, whatever the case is, or an entity, and it has to be notable and or it has to be notable. So it has to be, you know, your business must be broadly, you know, known by the public and whatever the case is. And then it says upon profile verification, yada, yada, yada. So for one, you need to go and make sure your specific email is verified. So you have to make sure your email is a verified email. And then what you can do now that is specifically for business people. Like if you have a profile and you want your profile to be, you know, visible to everyone, you want to be verified there. I believe you have to have at least 5,000 subscribers or 5,000 followers on Snapchat in order to be verified. So in order for you to actually have a verified type of account on Snapchat, you will basically have to, you know, have 5,000 followers, which is pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. But if you, you know, are a notable creator of some sort, you should be able to go ahead and find a way to go and get those many followers. Because if you can't, well, then that's pretty much going to be the main, you know, thing that's going to happen here. So with my public profile right here, I don't know. I don't even know why I have these many followers, to be honest. But you can see even from my specific account, I don't really have a verification. And that could be due to a few things. One, I don't really post. So you may also want to make sure you post on Snapchat quite frequently. You also want to make sure you're not posting anything against their terms of service as well. That could be something else that could be kind of, you know, a little bit of an issue there. But as you can see, for me, I don't really post a lot. So that's why I'm not really a public, you know, person. So you may want to post a lot. You may want to, you know, collaborate with other people. It's just like being a random creator with any other account. But those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, I'll let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.